You're watching Madison County School Sports Television, brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble, Guardian Bank in Lexington, FaithCreated.org, Richmond Tourism, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, WWAG playing stars and legends, 107.5. If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here, visit RosenbaumCommunications.com. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Madison Central High School in Richmond, Kentucky. We've got high school basketball action for tonight. Two MCHS Indian teams. First, uh, visitors are from Montgomery County being introduced right now. Uh, they are red, white, and blue, and so is Madison Central. So it'll be a clash of the Indians tonight. Then we got Madison Central wearing the white uniforms tonight. Getting ready to be introduced as well. We've got a really good battle getting ready to take place. Uh, Montgomery County out of the 10th region. Had a good has had a good year so far. Played well. Played well against Clark County. Beat them once. Lost them once. Those are probably the best two teams in that region. And uh, I think their record at this point is 14 and four. And uh, for their first year coach Tony Wise. And uh, Tony played at Scott County. Familiar with tough 11th region basketball. And so uh, we should be in for a good matchup tonight. Of course, Madison Central coached by Allen Feldhouse Jr. And uh, we got our normal starting lineup with them with Dominique Hawkins, Ken Bosley, uh, John O'Brien, um, Quan Taylor, and Hunter Allen. So getting ready for an exciting night of high school basketball here in Madison Central. Uh, we got teams kind of making their way towards center court. I do a quick uh, greeting and then uh, we'll be underway. Uh, pretty good crowd in the house tonight for a Tuesday night. And looking forward to excitement as uh, these are some teams that have kind of over the last couple of years have developed a, a closeness. There's several kids play together in the summer in some of the AAU leagues and then their, and their teams during the summertime. But of course during basketball season it's ready to go uh, compete. So here we go with the tip off. Tips to Dominique Hawkins, saves it back into Quan. Dominique takes it at the point. Montgomery County in his zone. So Dominique looks to the sideline, gets some direction. He throws it right side to Bosley, back to Dominique, top of the key. He throws it left side to O'Brien, swings it back over to Bosley. He takes the shot, missed in the middle. Quan with the good offensive rebound, missed the putback, goes back up, puts it up again. Juan Taylor with great work on an offensive glass. And Montgomery County comes in against Madison Central's man-to-man -man full court pressure. Omar Pruitt brings it down, gives it over to Fruth. Fruth dribbles in to set the offense. He throws it over to Jones. Jones dribbles in the middle of the paint. He's got his man beat. Those in the right short corner. Back out to Chris. Chris dribbles in the middle. Up against Hunter Allen. Got a mismatch now. He throws it right side. 23 makes the move to the left. Omar Pruitt to fake, throws it back out. Booth again looking for the good shot. The impatient. Got it to the post. And Omar, and he takes the jump hook. Nice shot for Omar Pruitt. Dominic Hawkins brings it down, throws it to Quan Taylor and left side to Bosley. They set up for the zone again. Swinging it around the perimeter. O'Brien gives it back to Hawkins at the top of the key. He sets the offense. Begins to dribble left. Takes it back at the wing. He's got some shots there, but he's hesitant right now. They want to be patient. Gets the drive. Gets blocked. Blocked by Montgomery County as Fruth comes down the lane, takes it to the glass, and scores over O'Brien as he tried not to draw the foul. Dominic Hawkins brings it up. Front court goes to Juan Taylor. Back to Bosley. Top of the key to O'Brien, it takes the three-pointer, makes it. That's a good sign for Madison Central. If they shoot the ball well, it makes Montgomery County come out of that zone. So we'll see how that goes through the rest of the night. Chris brings it up court. Throws it right side to Fruth. 
looking for the pick. Gets the screen. Kelly gave the screen and got him open. And he's picked back up. Omar Pruitt with the drive to the basket. Makes a move. Misses it. It gets his shot adjusted by Quan Taylor. And Quan gets the rebound. Makes the move. Throws it back out to Bosley. Three-pointer on the way. is no good. Dominic Hawkins with the rebound and the putback. Madison Central up 7-4. to four. 5-13 in the first quarter. Omar Pruitt throws it right side to Chris. Chris down to Kelly. Kelly looks front court to Pruitt. Pruitt with the three on the way. No good. Long and Hunter Allen with the rebound. Throws it out to John O'Brien. Makes his way up the left side. Pulls it back out. Throws it to Hunter Allen. Right side swings it to Bosley. Three out of the corner. No good. Rebound by Chris. Knocked out of his hand by O'Brien. The ball will go to Madison Central. 449 here in the first quarter. Score Madison Central seven and Montgomery County four coming in against full court zone pressure. They've got it beat, throw it in the middle. He takes it all the way in, makes the layup. Fruit, Brad Fruth with the basket. He got a score seven to six. Madison Central on top by one. Does it right, got it right side. Down to Quan. He sees Hunter Allen cutting. Takes it to the basket, misses a shot. Omar Pruitt with the rebound, and he brings it up. Throws it down underneath. Got a charge on Fruitt. Great job by O'Brien setting up, getting ready to take the charge, and got good position and held his ground. Got a substitution in. Hand shoes in the game from Montgomery County. He comes in for number 10, Crisp. And again, they go to the, that's kind of a 2-1-2 or 3-2 or zone. Madison Central sets up against it. John O'Brien to on the left wing, back to Dominic Hawkins. He takes the open three, makes it. If they hit shots from there, it's going to be a long night for Montgomery County. Scores 10, Madison Central, 6, Montgomery County, with 3.57 left, first quarter. Montgomery County struggling to get it in. Get it across court to Omar Pruitt. Throws it down court to Jones. Jones facing up against Hunter Allen, trying to beat him on his dribble. He does beat him, and he gets steps out of bounds. So Hunter Allen did a good job of holding his ground, getting over there with quick feet, and he caused him to step out of bounds. Madison Central's got the ball now, bringing it up. Dominic Hawkins brings it left side to O'Brien, back to Hawkins, over to Bosley, down low to Quan Taylor. Goes up for the shot, and he's fouled. Looks like that foul is on number 23, Jones. <laughs> For Montgomery County. That's his first and the second on Montgomery County. Clean game so far. Very few fouls. Two on uh, Montgomery County, none on Madison Central. And uh, we've got three minutes and 35 seconds left in the first quarter. And the score is 10 to 6. I think that 11 to 6, Madison Central. Quan Taylor just hit the first of two free throws. And uh, Madison Central so far has shot the ball very well. It's an important facet of the game for them as um, they obviously have the athleticism to play underneath, but many times their shooting is not quite as good, and so tonight it's been really good so far. Montgomery County working the ball up court against his own pressure. They dribble it to the middle, about lose the ball. Number 11, that's Hanshu. Hanshu sets it up. He backs up, buys his guard in hand, throws it right side to Fruit. He's looking for the pick. He gets it from Kelly. Takes a long three. He got it. 12 to 9, Madison Central with 3.11 to go in the first quarter. Dominic Hawkins brings it down, throws it right side to O'Brien, back to Bosley at the head of the key. He again swings it around the perimeter, going up against this zone. It's packed in there tight. They're really challenging Madison Central to shoot the ball and then he got it inside there worked it down low to Hunter Allen he had a shot against Pruitt put it in Montgomery County brings the ball up again against his own pressure getting their hands all over it but they're not completing the steals and so far uh, they've handled the pressure got another three on the way by Fruit. it's good from the right wing makes the score 14 for Madison Central 12 for Montgomery County with 226 to go in the first quarter Madison Central sets it up. Kendra Bosley looks like he's going to shoot, then fakes it to the right side. He dribbles down the middle, kind of has nowhere to go. Throws it left side to O'Brien, three on the way, no good. 
Rebound by number 23, Jones. He brings it down. Fruits has been hot, but he, he started to look at the shot, gave it up. Jones dribbles to the middle, nearly throws it away. Picked back up by Hanshu, and now over to Fruth, and they set the offense. Fruth drives, throws it to the right side to Jones. Jones dribbles left, comes to the middle, They're kind of running a little bit of a weave. Throw it over to Hanshu. He's waiting for a pick. Kelly gives him the pick. Hanshu stops with the shot, doesn't get it. And uh, Pruitt goes with the rebound, can't get it back in, gets blocked by Quan Taylor. The other way they go, Kendra Bosley lays it in on a fast break. Montgomery County again with the ball. Pruitt bringing it up court behind his back, throws it over right side to Hanshoot, misses it again. This time Dominic Hawkins with the rebound, he dribbles it down court. Faster tempo, this is what they want. Outside to Bosley, shoots a long three, misses it. They get the rebound, it's on the floor. It's going to be out of bounds. It's going to be out of bounds. They're deciding right now. Referees are deciding. I think they, I don't know who they're giving it to. Yeah, we have a wholesale substitutions for Madison Central. We have several players in. Stalker, Congleton, uh, Walker, George Walker, and Daniel Park all come into the game for Madison Central. And Madison Central has the ball out of bounds right in front of the Montgomery County bench. Throws it out front to Congleton. Congleton sets the offense. Looks left side to Park. Park back to Congleton. Congleton right to Walker. Walker looks to Congleton. He looks to make a move. Spins. Throws to Walker. He takes the three. There's a flat shot. Didn't really get it up there. And a rebound by Chris. Chris brings it up court. He comes in front court to uh, the top of the key. Daniel, Daniel Park guarding him. Uh, Hanshu gets open, gets the ball, pick set, but he can't get free. Omar Pruitt trying to set that pick. Now we have a move by Jones. Combs sets the screen. Stalker's guarding Jones, and they get it to Chris. Daniel Park on him. Chris makes the pass over to Hanshu in the right. He can't get Pike on. It's Congleton with good defense right there. That was a tough pass, nearly intercepted. Jones makes the catch, and... Then they set the offense. I think they're going to settle for one shot here. We've got Quan Taylor guarding. He picks up the foul, and Omar Pruitt was, uh, oh, sorry, I take that back. Must have been three seconds on lane. I didn't see that. Just looking at the top of the key, but three-second call on Montgomery County in the lane. And so Central will have the chance for the last shot. Bring it up court. Daniel Park starts the offense. Does left side to Congleton, back to Park. He's hesitating. He goes to the right side. He's got to take a long three straight away. He made it. Nice shot. Daniel Park with the three to end the quarter. We end the first quarter with Madison Central 19, Montgomery County 12. We'll be right back. You're watching Madison County School Sports Television, brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble. Guardian Bank in Lexington. FaithCreated.org. Richmond Tourism. Time Warner Cable. Madison County Schools. WWAG playing stars and legends. 107.5. If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here, visit RosenbaumCommunications.com. You're watching. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We had an exciting first quarter of action. Madison Central with a seven-point lead after one quarter play, 19 to 12. Madison Central hit three three-pointers in that quarter, and so it's a big. Uh, that's a big part of what they need to do to be successful tonight. Uh, we'll see how long Montgomery County can stay back in that zone, kind of packing it back in, trying to trying to uh, take advantage of maybe some of the adva size advantage they may have right underneath, but. Madison Central shooting it well outside, may pull them right out of there. Get right in, bound the ball, start second quarter of play. Omar Pruitt from Montgomery County inbounds, throws it into Jones, right midcourt, right back to Omar. And he throws it over to Chris to start the offense. The left side to Henshu. Henshu dribbles right. Congleton guarding him, guard, guarding him pretty closely. Chris has the ball. He's near midcourt, trying to set the offense again. 
pick number 44. Combs sets that pick and over to Chris, back to Hanshu, top of the key. Makes a move, drive. He's got a three-point play, I believe. They gave him the basket. Nice move. He tucked the ball away, held on to it strong, and he got by Congleton. Congleton's a good defensive player out on the court. He just got a, a step on him right there and, and uh, was able to edge him onto the basket. Hanshu with the free throw. He missed it. Rebound Stalker. Stalker at a park. Park brings it in the forecourt, throws it to Stalker. Left side to Walker, top of the key, Connelton. Connelton back to Walker. Walker off the screen, comes to the middle of the lane. Throws it to Quan Taylor, but they call him for traveling. Steps called underneath. He was open, but I think he took one hesitation. They called that it's a walking call on him. We have a substitution in the game from Montgomery County. We had uh, Jones out. We have Fruth, Chris. Pruitt, Kelly, and Hanshu in the game. Ball left, ball at the top of the key to Pruitt. Pruitt those left side to Hanshu. Hanshu is facing the basket, looking for Cutter. Nobody's moving. He starts to dribble, backs it back out, throws it to Fruitt. Fruitt at the top with George Walker guarding him. Throws it to Pruitt. Pruitt at the top of the key, looks left. He's got Hanshu. Hanshu looking for the screen. He comes over, gets crisp at the top of the key. He's looking, nobody there. Finally get it to Omar Pruitt. He takes a long three. That was not really what was designed, I don't think. And here come the Indians. Connelton with a quick move, tried to stop and slip. Quan Taylor with a shot, short corner in the left side. Missed it. They got a push and foul, I believe, on Madison Central as Omar Pruitt went up for that rebound. And got pushed a little bit. May have done a little bit of acting there, but he got pushed, no doubt. Call goes against Madison Central, against Hunter Stocker. Indians from Montgomery County put the ball in play. They throw it to Hanshu. Hanshu comes up court. 6.27 to go. Madison Central by 5, 19 to 14. Hanshu takes a move, stops, pops. He hits it from the left elbow over Congleton. So it's 19 16. Park in the front court. Those are the Stocker. Right side to Walker, down in the baseline. To Taylor, back out front to Congleton. He sets the offense. We're going against man to man now. Montgomery County's changed defenses here. And he sets it up, gives it to Park, and Park will run the offense. He moves to the left side. He's looking for Kyle Congleton. He pops out. He's looking for isolation on Quan Taylor. He's got it. They don't give him the call. He made the move, got blocked. Makes the move to the middle of the lane, hunt over, over to Hunter Stalker. Bank shot missed. And Pruitt gets the rebound, throws it out front to Fruth. Fruth drives, but he gets cut off by Walker. Out front to Hanshu. Hanshu with a long three, no good. Rebound Hunter Stalker. He nearly throws it away. Throws it this time, though, to Daniel Park, and he's coming down the court. He stops, throws right side to Congleton. Congleton into Stalker. Stalker left side to Walker. Walker back to Stalker, and they get the top of the key to Daniel Park. He drives the basket, gets blocked, called a foul. Good move by Daniel Park going to the basket. It got a little bit out of control right there, but uh, he did a good job of kind of controlling himself, getting the basket, drawing the foul. He'll be at the line for two shots. 5.13 to go, second quarter. 19 for Madison Central. 16 for Montgomery County. Make that 20 for Madison Central and 16 for Montgomery County. Montgomery County substitution. Uh, Kelly comes back in for Combs and for Madison Central. Looks like we're coming back with uh, several of the starters. We have Hunter Allen back in, Kenja Bosley, John O'Brien, and I believe Dominic Hawkins is going to check in for Park. As soon as he hits this free throw, he hits it. Madison Central is up by five with 5.13 to play. And they're playing man to man. And they're going to pick up Fruth at the top of the, at the Indian head at midcourt. He throws left to Hanshu, Hanshu to Kelly. Kelly right side to Fruth. He looks left to Pruitt. Long three by Pruitt. He missed it. He's anxious to get some scoring going, and so he's maybe forcing some things. Hunter Allen with the rebound, throws it over to Kenja Bosley, brings it up. Dominic Hawkins takes a shot on the baseline, misses it, gets rebound by O'Brien. He gets blocked 
by foot. It's thrown out of bounds. And they're saying it's off of Montgomery County going to stay Madison Central Indian ball. Tony Wise from Montgomery County doesn't like the call, but uh, that's where it's staying. Under the basket, Madison Central inbound. Throw it left side to O'Brien. He shows the three. He knocks it down. That's two for O'Brien. He's been shooting it well the last couple games. As we get in forecourt with Montgomery County, Brad Fruth throws the right side to Kelly. Kelly throws to Fruth. He looks, set the offense back up, gets kind of the top of key. Throws it left side to Hanshu. Hanshu drives to the right. He's open. He takes the, uh, th- takes the free throw, basically. A jump shot from the free throw line and makes it. Madison Central up six, 24-18, and set an offense on the right side. O'Brien's wide open for the three. Knocks it down again. Tony Wise is not happy with his team right now. Madison Central with a short, quick run. Go up by nine with 3.59 to go into the first, second quarter. We'll be right back. In Madison County School Sports Television, brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble. Guardian Bank in Lexington. FaithCreated.org. Richmond Tourism. Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, WWAG playing stars and legends, 107.5. If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here, visit RosenbaumCommunications.com. Welcome back, fans, to Madison Central. We've got a good one going second quarter. Madison Central leading visitors from Montgomery County, 27 to 18. Can hear the band. There's nothing like high school basketball. It's a great time of year. If you've not been out, come out and watch the Madison Central Indians and enjoy a really good team. They're undefeated. As a matter of fact, the last undefeated team in the state of Kentucky. So playing really well. Uh, timeout right there was called by Tony Wise. He was upset. Madison Central really shot the ball well today. With 3.59 to go here in the second quarter, uh, they've hit five three-pointers. Uh, that's not the norm for them. So out of 27 points, 15 of them have come from the outside of the arc. So Madison Central shot the ball well, but part of that is Tony Wise was telling his team, I'm sure, in their timeout. Part of that is because we're not guarding them very well. So they're getting some chances to get open looks, and uh, they've taken full advantage and hit several of them. Let's put them ahead in this game. And, a uh, nine-point lead right now. We'll see what Montgomery County does to try to change things up and make sure to get a hand in the face a little more often. Montgomery County will be inbounding the ball. they got full length of the court to go. Fruth to inbound. He throws it left side to Chris, back to Fruth. He brings it up court. He's got George Walker on him. He sets the offense. Throws it left side to Crisp. Chris comes off a screen by Kelly. He takes the ball to the middle lane. He had a guy wide open. Had Kelly open, missed him. He missed a little shot, throw up an air ball. So Hunter Allen gets the rebound over the left side now to Dominic Hawkins to set the offense. He jump steps into the middle, throws it out to O'Brien. O'Brien right back to Walker, over to Dominic Hawkins in the left corner, back to O'Brien who fakes, puts up a shot, misses it, rebound Chris. Back the other way with Montgomery County. He stops, nearly has it stolen by Kendra Bosley. He throws it down underneath, gets the... Gets the call, block call on John O'Brien as Brad Fruth went to the basket. And uh, there was some chaos right there. Madison Central probably should have had that loose ball, but that was one of those 50-50 balls Montgomery County got, and they'll inbound it under their own basket. Pruitt throws it inbounds to Crisp, out to Kelly. Pruitt's trying to get open right here. Back to Crisp in the left corner over to Fruth at the top of the key. He sets up the offense, starts to move, moves left into the lane, throws it under to Kelly. Kelly goes underneath the basket, reverse layup, nice shot. Got by Hunter Allen on that play and laid it in. 27-20, Madison Central. Madison Central is on offense now, going against the 1-2-2 zone. They throw it in the middle. George Walker misses the shot. Rebound by Pruitt. He goes, throws it out left side to Chris. Chris drives the lane, misses it. Pruitt with the follow tip, and he lays it in. 27-22, Madison Central is down to a five-point lead. Ken Jabazi throws it out front to Dominic Hawkins, sets the offense again against this 1-2-2, and Hawkins moves right, takes the jumper from the elbow, missed it, 
Hunter Allen put it back up, missed it, and Kendra Bosley follows this shot and makes the two-point basket, put Central back up by seven. Montgomery County brings it down court. Fruth sets up, top of the keys on the Indian head. He throws it right, nearly stolen by Bosley. He throws it back into Chris. Chris sets it up, looks to the right, gets Pruitt. Pruitt with the floater down the middle, nice shot. He's a long, lanky player, but boy, he could really elevate and lay that ball up in the basket with soft touch. Central throws it right side, left side to Bosley, back to O'Brien, over to the Hawkins. Down the middle to Walker. Walker throws it away. I saw oh, saw Hawkins cutting, but he saw him a second too late, and uh, he threw it back to where he had come from, not where he was going to, and they ended up in a turnover for Madison Central. Montgomery County went to bound the ball. Number 20, Fruth brings it up. We have Jones, Fruth, Pruitt, Kelly, and Hanshu. Jones, left side. Dribbles to the, to the right, back to the left. Now he leaves it to Fruits. Fruits got an opening in the lane, puts it up. Nice shot. He had a hand in his face with Allen, but he, he didn't get to it, and he knocked down the jumper. Pass to Central's got it. Left side, Bosley. Top of the key, O'Brien. Back to the left, Bosley. He's looking in the middle. Can't get it there. O'Brien to the right, to Hawkins. Back to O'Brien, top of the key. They set up the offense. Back to the right, to Hawkins. O'Brien left. Bosley dribbles it down underneath, throws it all the way back out to O'Brien for the three. He missed it. Nice tip in, though, by Hunter Allen. Nice position and got the tip. Madison Central up by five, 31-26 with under a minute to go here in the first half. Fruits bringing it up. Hawkins guarding him closely. He throws it left side to Jones. Jones top the key to Kelly. He gives it to Hanshu, who sets up against O'Brien. And O'Brien's coming out to guard him, getting pretty close. There he goes. Start the time. Then he moves a little bit to stop the count. Here he goes. Dribbles to the left. Takes it toward the basket. Throws it out to Jones. Jones with the move. He doesn't end up doing it, but it ends up being a rebound by Pruitt. Pruitt gets fouled as he goes back up. Misses the shot, but he's going to get two free throws. It was a good drive by Jones, but he just left it a little bit short. Uh, maybe shot altered there by Hunter Allen. But he was out of position then and couldn't stop Pruitt from getting a rebound. First free throw, no good by Pruitt. Madison Central up 31-26, 18.8 seconds to go. First half. Second free throw by Pruitt's up. No good again. He's missed several shots tonight. Frustrated probably with himself. Madison Central up, coming up against his own pressure now. Dominic Hawkins drives to the right. He's going back to the left. He's trapped now. He's going to call timeout. Six seconds to go. Madison Central calls timeout. It's a 30 seconds timeout, so we'll stay right here. And uh, we'll try to catch up a little bit and get you caught up. Madison Central jumped out to an early lead. And Montgomery County kind of fought their way back. Second quarter, Madison Central jumped out again to a, a nine-point lead. And kind of looked like they had things going their way, but they've allowed Montgomery County to hang in it and fought their way back and got it within three. Right now it's a five-point game, six seconds to go in the first half. Madison Central up 31 to 26, and they have the basketball. So right now Alan Feldhouse setting the play. I'm sure that uh, Tony Wise in the Montgomery County huddle is probably trying to uh, throw a different defense at them, something that they've not seen yet. To, to uh, throw off this play that they've designed. But we'll see what kind of shot Madison Central can get. I would look for them to, uh, they shot the ball well outside. I think they probably want something to get maybe O'Brien a shot uh, or Hawkins. There's over to Bosley. He takes the jumper right side. He makes it. Two-point shot as we end the half. Madison Central takes a seven-point lead into the locker room, 33-26. to 26. We'll be right back with you in just a moment. Madison Central High School. Watching Madison County School Sports Television. Brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble. Guardian Bank in Lexington. FaithCreated.org. Richmond Tourism. Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools. WWAG, playing stars and legends. 
107.5. If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here, visit RosenbaumCommunications.com.
You're watching Madison County School Sports Television, brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble, Guardian Bank in Lexington, FaithCreated.org, Richmond Tourism, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, WWAG playing stars and legends, 107.5. If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here, visit RosenbaumCommunications.com. You're watching Madison County Schools Sports Television, brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble. Guardian Bank in Lexington, faithcreated.org, Richmond Tourism, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, WWAG playing stars and legends, 107.5. If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here, visit RosenbaumCommunications.com. couple other coaches that I know from around here, here to watch and get an idea of what kind of talent these teams really have. You know, Madison Central is the only remaining undefeated team in the state of Kentucky. They will uh, they will play uh, this Friday against Lincoln County, and then they'll go to Madison or to Montgomery County to the new gym in Montgomery County on Saturday night to be part of the Joe B. Hall Classic, and they'll be playing Trinity which is uh, number one by a lot of the polls in Kentucky. And Madison Central ranked right there in the top uh, two, three, four, somewhere in that spot. So should be a good one. We're getting ready here to see a second half of basketball. I think it'll be a good one. We'll see how the coaches have made adjustments. <clears throat> what we expect to happen in the second half, I'd expect it to be close. So let's watch as Madison Central gets ready to inbound the basketball. Hunter Allen throws it into Dominic Hawkins, and he... Looks at a 1 2 2 zone from Montgomery County. Throws it to O'Brien on the right side. He throws it out front to. He throws it inside, I'm sorry. To the dunk. Oh, the dunk shot right there. As we get the lob pass from Dominic Hawkins to Quan Taylor. Set play. They knew what they were doing the whole time, and Quan loves to get that shot right there. Left side from Montgomery County over to Chris. Chris kind of looking for the screen. He's guarded by O'Brien. He moves back toward midcourt. He throws it over to Fruth. Fruth sets up against Dominic Hawkins. He throws right side to Jones. Jones guarded by Bosley. Throws to Kelly. Straight away over to Pruitt. Pruitt looks. Head fake. Takes it to the basket. Gets the foul. Draws the foul. Going to the rim hard. Juan Taylor picks up that foul. Those guys are guys that play together during the summer. AAU team coached by Omar's dad, uh, Omar Pruitt. May be familiar with Omar's mom, Lee Wise. 
Pruitt. Lee Wise played uh, back at Kentucky. He was a really good player. Omar hits the first free throw. Makes it 35-27. Madison Central by 8 with 7-12 to go in the third period. Omar takes, his, takes the ball. Second free throws on its way. He makes them both. Back down to a seven-point game as Madison Central brings the ball up court. Dominic Hawkins with the ball. He dribbles up, throws right side to O'Brien. He works his way into the middle. O'Brien throws it to the top of the key to Allen. Left side, Bosley. Bosley back to Allen. Allen shoots the three from straight away. Missed it. Rebound by Hawkins. Missed it. Jones with the rebound. He swings it around from out there. Nearly lost it, but he got control of it. Finally, he brings it up court. He makes a move on Bosley. They call fouls. Quick fouls. A couple of them here against Madison Central's. Bosley gets called for the foul. It's on the floor, so it won't be a shooting foul, but uh, Jones had made a move, gotten past him, it looked like, and Bosley got his hand in there, and they called the foul in the reach in. Montgomery County in ball, inbounds the ball underneath their own basket. Crisp throws it to Kelly. Kelly to Fruth, the top of the key, back to Crisp. Looked for the shot, didn't have it to Pruitt. Pruitt's got a wide open right side. He gets the foul, looks like, no, they don't call it, but he knocks the shot in. Got a little contact there, but no foul called. Hawkins brings it up for Madison Central with five-point lead, 35-30, 6.20 to go in the, fir- in the third quarter. Bosley throws left side to Hawkins. Hawkins looks inside to Allen, down on the baseline to B- Taylor. Top of the key, Bosley dribbles behind his back, moves to the left, throws to Hawkins. Hawkins open, but he doesn't take it. Throws it to, well, throws it to Allen. Allen, a quick pass to Taylor, and he lost it. Montgomery County going the other way. Pruitt with the drive, takes it all the way to the basket. Gets fouled by O'Brien, gets fouled hard, but uh, got the shot up, and so they're going to get a two-shot foul here. John O'Brien picks up the foul. We have three quick fouls on Madison Central here in the third quarter. As we got Omar Pruitt at the line to shoot two. First shot's up. He makes it. Omar's starting to shoot it better this half. He had, uh, had a tough time in the first half. Missed a couple free throws, but shooting better now. Second shot's on its way. He makes that as well. It's down to a three-point game. 35-32, Madison Central. Under six minutes to play in the third quarter. Left side to Allen, all the way over to Bosley. Top of the key to O'Brien. Back to the right to Hawkins. Hawkins looks down to Taylor in the corner. He throws all the way cross court to Bosley. Back inside to Allen. Allen with the left-hand jump hook. Missed it. Rebound by Fruth. And Montgomery County brings it down with a chance to get within one or take a tie here. They could hit a three-pointer. They set the offense. Hawkins guarding Fruth. He's out close to him. No time yet. But there he goes to the right side to Jones. Jones dribbles left. Picked by Pruitt. He gets picked. Here goes Bosley going the other way. He takes it all in the basket. Misses it. O'Brien with the tip follow. He makes the shot. And it looks like... Bosley comes up limping. I don't know if he turned an ankle, what he might have done right there. We got a substitution in the game, though. It looks like we have John O'Brien out. Maybe he's uh, been hit in the. Looks like he's, he's holding his face. Maybe hit in the face. We made some blood or something. Maybe get cleaned up. But in the game for him is Walker. Pruitt comes up the court, being guarded by Taylor. Throws it underneath to Jones. He missed it wide open under the basket. Heard footsteps and missed it. Here comes Dominic Hawkins the other way. He drives to the lane, a little floater, knocked it in. Madison Central back up by seven. Pruitt throws it inside into Fruth. Fruth brings it up court, being guarded by George Walker. He moves to the right, kicks it over to Chris. Chris dribbles left, throws it to Kelly, back in the corner to Pruitt. Pruitt with the drive, gets pushed, thinks there's a foul, no call. He throws it away, throws it to Taylor. Taylor, the Indians on the other on the move the other way, underneath to Allen wide open. Hunter Allen with the shot. Timeout taken by Montgomery County. And we'll take one with them. We'll be right back. You're watching Madison County School Sports Television, brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble. Guardian Bank in Lexington. FaithCreated.org. Richmond Tourism. Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, WWAG playing stars and legends, 
107.5. If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here, visit RosenbaumCommunications.com. Welcome back, Madison Central and Montgomery County in the third quarter of play. 41-32, Madison Central has the lead. Jump back out to a nine-point lead and getting all the way down to three. And a couple of bad decisions on the end by Montgomery County turned into quick baskets for Madison Central. A couple of bad uh, decisions and one missed wide open layup by Montgomery County and it turned into quick points for Madison Central on the other end. We've got a nine-point lead. Montgomery County had looked a little better, gotten it to within three. We'll see what uh, Coach Wise had to say to him in that timeout. So, inbound, trying to get, trying to get the ball inbounds. Quan Taylor picks up the foul. These are guys again. Like I said, they play with each other in, in uh, AAU basketball in the summer. But right now, they're competitors. There's no doubt about that. And. Uh, Right there, it looked like Quan and Omar Pruitt going at each other a little bit, but uh, no foul call the second time. And so here they go to set the offense. Left side to Hanshu. Hanshu throws it down low, throws it away. Uh, looks like they were thinking that maybe there's a foul on Quan Taylor for holding him, but there was no call. He just didn't get to the basketball, and it went out of bounds underneath the basket. Madison Central basketball. Bringing it up court, Dominic Hawkins brings it up, throws it to Allen. Allen over right side to Walker. Walker in the middle to Allen. It's wide open. He lays it in. That's something they've seen on film right there, and they took advantage of it. Montgomery County now down by 13 with 349 in the third quarter. They're bringing it down court. Hanshu, he brings it. He makes the move, gets blocked, and the block turns into a rebound by Hunter Allen. Hunter Allen trying to get it to Walker. He gets fouled by Hanshu. That was probably a frustration foul. He tried to take the ball one-on-one against uh, Dominique Hawkins, and he could not get past him. Dominique with long arms and a good jumping ability got that block. Madison Central with the ball on offense. Brings it down, throws it to Hunter Allen over to Bosley on the right side. Bosley back to the top of the key, gives it to Allen. I'm sorry, to Walker. Walker to Hawkins. Hawkins back to Walker. He drives, throws to Allen. Wide open again. He gets fouled. And he lays it in. They're taking complete advantage right now of the size difference that they have right underneath the basket. And uh, that's a couple of quick, easy shots for Madison Central. And so they got Hunter Allen now is going to the free throw line with a chance to complete the three-point play. And uh, they've just uh, taken the ball straight into the middle and trying to take advantage of a real big size advantage right there with Hunter Allen in, especially in Quan Taylor. Hits the free throw. Got a 14-point lead by Madison Central now. Playing defense. They throw it away on the inbounds. They throw it to Allen. And Allen misses the shot. Rebound by Kelly from Montgomery County. Montgomery County's coming back the other way. Here comes Brad Fruth driving, coming to the middle. Getting reached in. Kelly with the ball. Doesn't take the shot. Jones with it down the left side. He's back to Kelly at the top of the key. Back to Fruth, and they set the offense. He dribbles left, throws over to Hanshu. Hanshu dribbles to the right. He's got an open shot. He takes that shot. Looks like there's going to be a double foul called. I'm not sure if that was before or after the shot. It looks like uh, I'm waiting for him to clarify. Basket is counted by Hanshu, double foul. It looked like Walker and uh, Fruth were going at it. Fruth was trying to cut through. Walker's trying to keep him from going where he wants him to go. And uh, they turned that into a, a double foul. And I'm not sure. First, it looked like Montgomery County was going to have the ball, but now it's looking like Madison Central's got the ball. They basically go to the possession arrow, I think, on that, uh, with both of them getting called for the foul. This game's second half has gotten a little more aggressive. Uh, fouls have been called at a, a little quicker rate trying to control things, but Madison Central and Montgomery County, uh, both uh, pretty intense right now, playing hard, wanting to uh, get things accomplished that their coaches are wanting to get accomplished, I'm sure, but 
Bottom line at this point is it's it's gotten to be a little bit more aggressive and some fouls have been called just trying to keep it in line. Foul number 24, Central O'Brien, his third. So that basket was good. And so we have a 12-point lead for Madison Central. We start play again. Dominic Hawkins bring it down. Throws it right side to Allen. Over to Walker. Walker looks. Throws the top of the key to Bosley. Left side to Dominic Hawkins. Takes the three. He gets in and out. He missed it. Taylor gets the rebound. Was way up in the air for that one. Got the rebound. Got fouled as he was going back to put the shot back in. And so he'll have two free throws. We have 2.36 to go in the third quarter. Madison Central with a 12-point lead, 46-34. Quan Taylor at the line. First shot's up. No good. Madison Central with substitutions. Hawkins is going to be out. Bosley out. End of the game, Kyle Congleton and Daniel Park. And we have Hunter Stalker. Looks like he's ready to come in. For Quan Taylor, who's shooting the second free throw. Quan takes a shot. Second shot, no good. He missed it. Rebound by Pruitt. Well, he didn't control it, but as it was going out of bounds. Um, well, they call it off of Pruitt and end up with Madison Central basketball. Daniel Park throws it inbounds, throws it out front to Walker. Over the right side of Congleton. Down the right corner to Park. Park looks at the three, doesn't shoot it. Back in the front court, Walker. Back right side to Park. Park back to the Walker. Left side to Congleton. Congleton looks up top. Walker back to Congleton. He makes a move. Comes back out. Throws it all the way out in front court to Walker. Back to Congleton. They've worked around outside quite a bit. There's the shot inside. He had an open shot. Pass to Stalker, but he couldn't handle the ball, and he throws it out of bounds. Back to Montgomery County. Montgomery County inbounds the ball with Fruth. Fruth throwing it inbounds. He throws it away. Throws it to Handshoe, but he can't control it. And, oh, now Montgomery County steals it. Back to Handshoe. He lays it in. A nice pass by Jones, who stole the ball. Park throws it left side up court. Stalker back to Congleton. He throw, Oh, he takes it to the basket. And they call the foul on Pruitt. He didn't like the call. I'm not close enough to tell you, but I do know this. They called the foul on him, so Kyle, Con Kyle Congleton will get two free throws as we have a minute 50 to go in the third quarter. Ten-point lead, Madison Central. Congleton misses the free throw. Still ten-point lead. He'll have one shot remaining. A lot of fouls called in this half compared to the first half, actually with uh, about six minutes gone in this quarter. February five fouls each for both Madison Central and Montgomery County. So Kyle Congleton eyes the second shot, puts it up. He made it. <clears throat> Montgomery County inbounds the ball, comes up against man-to-man, -man, light man-to-man -man pressure. Fruth brings it in the front court, sets the offense, throws it over to Crisp. Crisp looking for some room. He dribbles left off a pick by Pruitt, picked up by Park nicely. Over to Hanshu at the top of the, of the left wing. He's looking for a screen. He goes right. It's a foul by George Walker as he reached in. It's one of those plays you reached in with the right hand, gets a foul. Maybe with the left hand, might not get that call against him. So, sixth foul in Madison Central. Montgomery County will be in the bonus from this point forward. They inbound the ball on the side. Chris throws it in to Fruth. Fruth top of the key over to Hanshu. Hanshu's looking. He dribbles behind his back, brings it back out. Congleton guarding him. Hanshu. Head fake, takes it to the basket. Call a foul back on Congleton. As he was trying to guard it on the drive, and uh, Hanshu didn't really get past him, but just uh, drew some body contact, I guess, there. It looked mostly clean on the, up, on the upside, but maybe on the body. We've got Hanshu at the line now. He'll be shooting two shots. Minute 18 to go, third quarter. Hanshu makes the first one, makes it a 47-37 game, 10-point game. The minute 18 to go in the third quarter. And she has the ball for the second shot. Eyes the rim, lets it go long with it. Quan Taylor with the rebound, holds it out with one hand and over to Walker. Light pressure by Montgomery County, his own pressure. They're trying to get after him now. Throws it in the front court, gets it over across the Compton, back to Park, and sets the offense. Those are to Walker and the Stalker. 
He hits the short jumper in the lane. Madison Central back up by 12. Crisp drives down. Had some opening there, but it didn't take it. Got a move, takes a move on Park. Back out to Hanshoe. Hanshoe missed. Pruitt with the rebound. He throws it out front to Fruit. Fruit with the drive. He gets fouled as he's driving to the lane. Right through two Madison Central defenders. Gave the foul to Walker. That's his third foul. That's the eighth foul on Madison Central. Again, a lot more physical play in this third quarter. Fruit is at the line. Madison Central by 12. With 40 seconds to go. Fruit misses the first shot. 49-37. With 40 seconds to go. Here in the third quarter, Fruth will have one free throw remaining as O'Brien checks back in the game for Madison Central. Fruth's second shot's up. It's good. 49-38, 11 point lead with 40 seconds to go. Stalker inbounds it against pressure defense by Montgomery County. Left side, back to Stalker. They call the carrying the ball on Stalker. Not sure right there if he's the person that's supposed to be handling that one or Maybe get that to a guard and move up the court, but call the carry on him. And so we'll have about 35 seconds to go. Third quarter, Madison Central leading by 11 points. Fru takes it all the way to the basket, laid it up, missed it. Rebound was by Pruitt. He couldn't control it. Ended up by O'Brien, got the ball, but he was standing on the out-of-bounds line, they say. Steve Chastain made that call. And so Montgomery County get the ball inbound under their own basket. Takes the ball, looking for somebody to throw it to. He's got to throw it somewhere. Called five-second call on him. So they didn't have a good play set up there. They didn't even get the ball inbounds. And so they'll turn it right back over to Madison Central. Stalker throws it in, gives it to Congleton. Congleton looking for somebody to throw it to. He throws it back to Stalker. Stalker moves right, cross the timeline to O'Brien. O'Brien takes the jumper. He made it from 15. And he gives them a 12, 13-point lead. With just 14 seconds to go. Madison Central's back on defense. Montgomery County will set up, probably to take the last shot of this quarter. Chris starts to move, dribbles, goes to the right side to Hanshu. He drives, and the shot goes up. <laughs> Contended by Quan Taylor. Shot's no good. Madison Central ends that quarter with a 13-point lead, 51-38. We'll be back in a couple minutes after these sponsors. You're watching Madison County School Sports Television, brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble, Guardian Bank in Lexington, FaithCreated.org, Richmond Tourism, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, WWAG playing stars and legends. 107.5. If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here, visit RosenbaumCommunications.com. Welcome back to Madison County School Sports Television here in Madison Central High School. As we start fourth quarter play, Montgomery County visitors on the scoreboard, 38 points, Madison Central 51, 13 point lead. In the final eight minutes, Montgomery County inbounds the ball. They throw it out front to Fruth. Fruth right side to Hanshu. They throw it down low to Pruitt. Pruitt faces Taylor. Taylor guarding tight. Pruitt with the move, can't get it up. Can't get the shot in, and he gets a uh, rebound by Congleton, brings it the other way. Stalker with a three-point shot on the other end, no good. Rebound Fruits, he brings it down the court. He takes it all the way down, misses the shot, got a bad angle right there. Good defense by Daniel Park. Madison Central coming the other way. He takes it all the way, O'Brien does, can't get it in. He saves his own rebound in, though. Back to Park, back to Stalker. Stalker drives down the middle of the lane pass to Quan Taylor. He loses his handle. Goes the other way to Hanshu. Hanshu down the middle of the court. He moves out to the right and he brings it back out. He faces up, looks underneath. There's Crisp underneath. He throws it back to Hanshu. Three-pointer on the way. No good. Rebound. Oh, rebound picked up there 
by Chris. Now lost to Madison Central Park to Congleton. Congleton gets pushed as he goes up for the layup, and he's going to get two free throws. Hectic action to start the fourth quarter of play. 6.59 to go in the fourth quarter. Madison Central with 13-point lead, 51-38. Here on the Madison County School Sports Television. Looks like they're waiting to get shirts tucked in and all those good things. Getting ready to shoot two. Kyle Connellton stands at the line. Takes the basketball. Standing on a couple of dribbles. Ames shoots, comes up short. Madison Central's not shot the ball real well today from the free throw line, although uh, in general they've shot, shot it pretty well from the outside, so free throws could improve. And here's second shot by Congleton. He makes that, rattles it in. Pru throws it in, Fruth brings it up court. He's facing O'Brien. He moves to the right, throws it over to Jones. Jones nearly lost it, but he saves it. Starts to drill back to the middle, gives it to Pruitt. Pruitt facing Quan now. They're going to isolate him, try to take him one-on-one. -on -one. He takes him one-on-one. -on -one. He makes the shot. They call a foul on Stalker. I'm not sure about that call. Uh, it was a great move by Omar Pruitt, but uh, I think they gave him a little extra with the foul call. Nevertheless, he laid it in off the glass, and he's going to get an opportunity for a three-point play. Takes a dribble, eyes the free throw, puts it up, and it's good. 52-41, Madison Central with an 11-point lead, 6.36 to go in the game. Stalker brings it up court. He dribbles it all the way up, throws it to Congleton in the middle. He tries to throw it underneath the Quan Taylor, and it's kicked out of bounds by Montgomery County. It'll be Madison Central ball under their own basket with 6.28 to go. Daniel Park. Takes the ball underneath. They start to play over to Kong. No, he looks underneath. Got it to Stalker. Stalker goes up with it. Looks like Crisp had his hand in there. They call the foul on him, and they give Hunter Stalker two shots. Foul on 10, Crisp. His first. Team Madison seven. Central. Stalker Madison nine. Central will have a couple of substitutions getting ready to check in. Looks like Kenja Bosley and Dominique Hawkins will be checking back in. They just now That's called a lane violation on O'Brien. He went down to say something to Quan Taylor, and he did that just as they handed the ball to Stocker. And so that's a lane violation, and Madison Central has a, officially a missed free throw there. Stocker with second shot. Puts it up, and it's good. Madison Central up by 12, 53-41. Pruitt brings the ball down. I would expect him to start having some isolation opportunities here, try to take, try to take Madison Central one-on-one. -on -one. He does. He moves, spins in the lane, rebound or the hook shot missed it. Quan Taylor, good defense, good rebound. He gets the ball out, throws it right side to O'Brien, who takes it all the way to the basket. Oh, Omar Pruitt with the nice block. O'Brien took it hard to the basket though, right into the body of. Pruitt, Pruitt went up high in the air and made the block. Back to Madison Central, though, as they'll have the ball out of bounds under their own basket with a 12-point lead, six minutes to go. They throw it underneath to, Kent, to Dominic Hawkins in the lob. He lays it in. 14-point lead for Madison Central. And Montgomery County brings it down. Gets a wide-open layup by Fruit as he cuts to the basket. Hawkins brings it up. He throws it cross court, across the timeline to O'Brien. He looks around, looks for Bosley. Bosley takes the shot. Got a foul. They call the foul on Pruitt. That's his second foul. Not any kind of foul trouble with either team, but he's explaining to Tony Wise what the call was for. Bosley with first free throw. He missed it. Madison Central not shooting well tonight from the line. He could really have a a lead that's uh, better than the 12 points they have right now if they would hit more of the free throws like normal. Bosley second shot. Shoots, makes Madison Central up by 13. 5.41 to go, 
Henshu brings the ball up court, brings it across the timeline. He takes the ball one on one. He does a little fake move and right on up into O'Brien and lays it in. Down to an 11 point lead. Passes across timeline. Bosley brings it across, being guarded hard by Fruth. Oh, nearly, an, nearly a pickoff. Jones cut into the passing lane, but it couldn't control it as Madison Central threw it toward O'Brien. But Jones again jumped the passing lane, just couldn't hang on to the basketball. Allen throws it. Allen throws it in. Throws it to Dominic Hawkins. He's in backcourt. Then he comes across the timeline with 5:11 to go. Throws it to Quan. Quan goes back door with it to Chris. Doesn't get it there. Out to Fruth. He had to run it down. Barely could catch up to it. And he ends up with no basket. That should have been easy points. They didn't get it. Oh, what a dunk right there by Dominic Hawkins. Great pass by O'Brien. He threw it up high. Hawkins caught it, put it in one hand, and threw it down. With that, we'll go to a break and get a word from our sponsors on the Madison County School Sports Television. You're watching Madison County School Sports Television, brought to you by... State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble. Guardian Bank in Lexington. FaithCreated.org. Richmond Tourism. Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools. WWAG playing stars and legends, 107.5. If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here, visit RosenbaumCommunications.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Madison Central High School. We're watching the game on the Madison County School Sports Television Network. We're watching Madison Central Indians as they're playing uh, Montgomery County Indians. And it's been a good game. Madison Central is really playing well. And that last uh, play, if you were with us, you saw a great, great lob pass from John O'Brien. Threw that thing to Dominic Hawkins. He's way above the rim and threw it in for a nice dunk shot. We have 4.47 to play, Madison Central by 13. Pruitt brings it down, goes against Taylor, lays it in in the middle. Nice float shot. Madison Central inbounds, going against the pressure defense in Montgomery County. Dominic Hawkins throws left side to Quan Taylor. He throws it middle to Kenja Bosley across the timeline. And they throw it left side to O'Brien, back to Bosley at the top of the key. He dribbles off to the right, and he throws over to Hawkins left. They set things up. We're going to run a little bit of time here. Over the left side to O'Brien. O'Brien looks for Hunter Allen. He takes the shot from about 17 feet. He missed it. Foul a number four. Omar Pruitt. That ball's going to go back to, to uh, Madison Central. Called the foul. That's a nine foul, so Madison Central will be at the line. Shooting the one and the bonus. They were just playing aggressively underneath there. Two or three of them uh, all huddled up trying to get the rebound. And Omar Pruitt went out of, was out of position and went up over top of uh, Quan Taylor and maybe a couple other Indians to try to get to that basketball. Quan's first shot makes it. Hunter Allen and uh, Pruitt in there pushing a little bit on that one. And the referee's talking to him right now, telling him to settle it down. We got about four minutes to play here, and uh, important game. But uh, let's don't get anybody hurt or get anybody kicked out or anything like that. Madison Central hits both free throws up by 13. Four minutes and five seconds to play. Chris brings it up court, comes across to Fruth. Fruth goes to the basket. He actually had a hand shoe open. He didn't look at him, didn't see it. He gets it back, misses the second shot, but he gets fouled. And he's going to get two free throws. Actually had Hanshue, number 11, wide open under the basket, but too much defensive pressure. He didn't see him. He did get his own uh, second shot opportunity. He got, got fouled, so first shot on the way for Fruth. He makes it. Madison Central up 60-48, to 3.54 to play. And, and uh, Fruth with the second shot. He eyes it. Let's go and knocks it through. So, Madison Central holding on to an 11-point lead. Halfway through the fourth quarter, they bring it up 
against the Montgomery County pressure. Bosley throws the right side to Hawkins. Hawkins looking. He dribbles to the left, back to the right. He's still dribbling. Got Fruth guarding. Five second call. Good defensive pressure by Fruth. Bad decision by Dominique not to really pursue the basket and it cost a turnover. We'll be back on the Madison County School Sports Television Network after these messages. You're watching Madison County School Sports Television, brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble, Guardian Bank in Lexington, faithcreated.org, Richmond Tourism, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, WWAG playing stars and legends. 107.5. If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here, visit RosenbaumCommunications.com. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Madison Central. We're getting ready to pick it back up in the fourth quarter. Three minutes, 38 seconds to play. Madison Central up by 11. Just turned the basketball over, though, with good defense. Uh, Fruth playing against Dominic Hawkins caused the turn. Turnover, the five-second call. They inbound it. Get it into Crisp. Crisp brings it up court. Bosley guarding him. Brings it up. He sets the offense. Dribbles off to his left. He's trying to make a move on him. He spins. Goes to the lane. Puts the shot up. Can't get it. Hanshu gets the rebound. He throws it underneath to Jones. He can't get a hold of it. And they lose it to Taylor. Taylor loses it. <coughs> Hanshu gets it. Man, a lot of action. And he lays it in with the left hand. Makes it a nine-point game. 60-51. Madison Central bringing it down the court. They rush it down into four court. Now he brings it back out. Bosley dribbles off to the right. He throws it down the corner to Allen. Allen with the jump shot. No good. But the foul by Jones over the back of... Looked like over the back of Quan Taylor and Allen Feldhouse Jr. was livid with that shot. I just don't think he wanted him to shoot it quite that quickly. He was open, but I think he wanted to run a little clock, and so he's uh, not very happy, and he sent Hunter Stocker over to come into the game. Quan Taylor goes to the line. He's going to have two shots. They're in the double bonus. First shot's up. It's good. Madison Central back to a 10-point lead. It's 61-51. Allen's talking right now to Hunter Allen. Coach Feldhouse talking to Hunter Allen and gives him some words of wisdom as uh, Taylor hits the second shot, makes it an 11-point game again. Here comes Hanshu bringing it up the court. Guarded by O'Brien. He makes a move to the left, takes it all the way to the basket. Oh, they caught a walk on him as he went down the lane. Uh, there's some unsure looks about that one. I'm not sure myself, but the bottom line is Madison Central basketball. So he brings it in. Stalker has the ball, gives it to Kendra Bosley. He moves it up the middle, goes right side to O'Brien. O'Brien with the lob pass. Ron Taylor with the dunk shot. 2.28 to go. Madison Central, 14 point lead. Hanshu takes the lane and draws the blocking call as John O'Brien was set up. Thought he had a charge call, but he didn't. It's a 13-point lead for Madison Central, and Hanshu is at the line. Great lob pass as Quan Taylor finished that in traffic. Threw it up to him, and he made the shot appear so easy. And that's not easy to do. Free throw's good by Hanshu. 12-point game, Madison Central on top. 2.24 to go. Hanshu second shot's on the way. It's good. Madison Central by 11. Inbound it to Bosley. Bosley brings it up. Gets pressure. Comes across the timeline. He throws it to O'Brien. O'Brien fakes a shot, then takes a shot. Over Pruitt, and he makes it. 66-53, 13-point lead. Here comes Hanshu back down. Makes, takes a fake. Goes to the right. Doesn't take it. Now he takes a shot contested. Bosley with the rebound as he missed it. Bosley comes down the court. The moose to the right, over to Quan Taylor, takes it to the basket, missed it. He takes it back up. This time foul looks like on Pruitt. No, I take that back. Foul is going to be on number 20. Bruce. That's his third foul. 
Quan Taylor will be back at the line, shooting two. Minute 52 to go in this game. Madison Central with a 13-point lead. Make that 14-point lead. As um, they've really basically held that lead since they extended it there midway through the third quarter. And they kind of held it right around uh, 9, 10, 11 or better the rest of this uh, ball game. Quan Taylor, second shot's on the way. He makes them both. Pruitt throws it in, gets it in to Crisp. He brings it down court in a hurry. Takes it off the right side. Now he sets up. He's looking, makes the drive, spin move. Can't get open. Throws it to Hanshu, left side. Hanshu to Pruitt. Pruitt's looking for something behind the back. Great move. Blocked by Quan Taylor as he got it to the rim. Great move by Pruitt, but he couldn't finish. He needs somebody to lay that off to, and he didn't do it. Pruitt's at the top of the key. Can't find anybody. Throws. Looks like it's over to O'Brien, top of the key now, I'm sorry. Over to Bosley. Bosley's setting the offense. He's guarded by Hanshu. Throws it across to O'Brien. He takes it to the basket, and they call him with the travel in the lane. Hard not to take that shot, and uh, the natural thing to do is to take that shot, except uh, with a minute 14 to go in the game, and so he did the right thing, but uh, he ended up taking an extra step there, and he called the walk. Minute 13 to go. Madison Central by 15. Fruth brings it into forecourt. He looks right side to Pruitt. Pruitt with the long three. He missed it. Not one of his better nights. He'd rebound by Stalker. Stalker to Kenja Bosley. He brings it down court to the right side. O'Brien, he has a wide open three, but he knows better than to shoot it and brings it back out to Bosley. They try to run some time off the clock. He's holding it right side. Goes down in the corner to Stalker. Stalker's just looking for somebody to throw it to. They're keep playing keep away right now. 40 seconds to go. Bosley throws left side to Hawkins. Hawkins throws it back to Bosley, who vacated the premises. And the ball sails out of bounds back over to Montgomery County. We've got 34 seconds to go. Montgomery County will have the ball. Madison Central has this game wrapped up. Fruth straight away takes a three, misses it. Great rebound by Hawkins, and he'll bring it down. He's actually bringing it down pretty fast. Brings it to Bosley, lays it in. Assist to Hawkins, lay in by Bosley. Madison Central with a 17-point seven point lead. Brings it down. Hanshue does. Hanshue brought it in. Got fouled. Ball came off the rim, and uh, Omar Pruitt showed some leaping ability there. So he dunked it back in, but the dunk didn't count. That was more a let some steam off shot than anything. Hansu now gets the two free throws as he drew the foul. 70 to 53. Madison Central with the lead. 12 and a half seconds to go. And um, getting ready to wrap this one up. Madison Central now with a 16 point lead as Hansu hits the first. Second shot's on the way. It's good. 70 to 55. Madison Central 12 seconds to go with the 15 point lead. And Hawkins brings it up court. He comes to the timeline, cross the timeline. He's just looking to run off some clock. Allen tips it back out to Stalker. And that's the game. Madison Central with an impressive 15 point victory, 70 to 55, over the Montgomery County Indians here from Madison Central. We'll be back after a couple of messages from our sponsors to wrap things up for Madison Central. You're watching Madison County School Sports Television, brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble, Guardian Bank in Lexington, FaithCreated.org, Richmond Tourism, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, WWAG playing stars and legends. 107.5. If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here, visit RosenbaumCommunications.com. Back to Madison Central on the Madison County School Sports Television Network. And uh, Madison Central finished out an impressive 15-point victory over Montgomery County. Played well start to finish. Really took off in the third quarter and extended that lead and never looked back from there. Our uh, our player of the game uh, for tonight, we had a several guys play really well, but I think we're going to give that honor to John O'Brien, 
Uh, we said early in the game that it was going to take Madison Central shooting the basketball well from outside to really draw Montgomery County out, make them play a little bit more man-to-man -man defense and force uh, force them to do what gives Madison Central some advantage. And They did that tonight. John O'Brien hit several three-pointers. I think he ended up with four threes on the game and uh, played really well. And so that's our State Farm Insurance player of the game, John O'Brien. As I look at uh, get ready to close up here, I was noticing the region championship banners. This is a team that has a chance to go to the state tournament. They're playing well. They're now 19-0, and 0, and uh, they're going to hopefully be undefeated on Saturday night when they play Trinity over at Montgomery County. Hopefully you guys can make it over there, cheer on Madison Central, and help them come home still undefeated as the only undefeated team in the state of Kentucky. Thank you guys for being with us tonight. Enjoy your evening. Good night. You're watching Madison County School Sports Television, brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble, Guardian Bank in Lexington, faithcreated.org, Richmond Tourism, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, WWAG playing stars and legends. 107.5. If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here, visit RosenbaumCommunications.com.